another version of myself that made this 27 years ago, a different version. And I always wanted the opportunity, if it came about, to do a, uh, um, give it a facelift at very least. Maybe mosaic it or do something to lift it out of its humble beginnings. I think after you know, once you've once you've made a start, then um, the finish is is a foregone conclusion in a way because you you surrender to the process and you you're in it. The original was called the Love Stone, so that's what it remains as. Uh, it's a motif. Uh, symbolising the unity of the family and I thought if it's going to be there for perpetuity it deserves a better presence, a more evolved structure, form. I started off here carving uh, a replica something that uh, I have on hand to um, use as a guide so I could get my head around uh, shifting the old sculpture and moving the new one into place. I built a kind of cradle out of timber and then um, made basically a block wall um, out of hebel blocks and then uh, drew on top of that and carved into it through the blocks and all that had scenes in it where the block wall was and rendered over it and um, ended up with a unified sculptural element which I then um, after cutting out the old one I replaced it and it's become um, a new version of of its original self. I like alone. Lonely is different from alone. I like alone. It seems to go hand in hand with art making. There are people around where I'm working anyway now that I'm working up there. I think they wondered what was going on. They thought it was some sort of makeover paint job or something, but they're starting to uh, really respond to it. Today especially, because I'm cladding the thing and all the disparate blocks are becoming one sculptural unit now. Walking away from something that I feel is more resolved, something I'm happier with, something that can remain where it is. I can feel okay about it, feel it's pulling its weight in the community. Oh, it's good to leave something of yourself in your neighborhood where you've lived, where you've breathed, you know, where you've lived your life.